Hello everybody, Grace Blaze, and we're back with more of the long dark in the story mode. This is a precarious position. From the corner of my ears. Or, I, whatever. From, from my ears, I can hear the sounds of footsteps. Yep. I knew it. Signaling that a wolf was definitely nearby. This is a problem. This is a problem. You may be saying to yourself, but Gray, why are you inside of a car over by the gas station? Well, I wish I had a good reason for you. It was solely to get the thumbnail for last time's episode. That's it. Uh, that's how you do it. That's the YouTube lifestyle. I've got to figure out how to get out of here. I'll be back with you guys in a second. More than likely, I'll just have to wait here for a little bit while the wolf goes and buggers off. All right. The wolf's over there. Wolf attack simulator. Go. Back up. Oh, crap. Okay. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. We're... Or are we? Really? Oh, you wolfy hoe. Oh, I'm going to cut you so smooth. I don't have any decoys either. Um, all right. Hold on now. Hold on now. Now, someone was saying that last time I got attacked because I had the two scent tokens or indicators or whatever have you. Uh, I got those two scent tokens after I got injured. When you get injured and you bleed, you get the scent indicators. The wolf meat when it, or well, wolf meat. The deer meat when it's cooked usually doesn't give any kind of scent indicators from what I've seen. The guts... Really? Now, normally they like to... Yeah, see, they like to close the distance like that. They don't always charge, though. Now, I don't know if it's because I kept my... Oh, there's another wolf right there. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Okay, hold on. We're going we're gonna to maneuver a little bit here. We're going to kind of go around this way. I want to get, if I can, over... Hold on. I'm kind of... I'm trying to do this in a way that makes YouTube happy and also makes me not die immediately. We want to get over to that air. Oh, crap. This is super bad. We want to get over to that area where the, uh, the farmstead is so we can complete that portion. Man, this wolf is not letting a brother go no matter what I do. I definitely want to get that done, though. It looks like there's another dead deer over here. I don't know if it's being gorged upon or not. Let me go ahead and kind of move right through here like so. You better deal with it for right now, homie. Because oh, there's another deer over here. Or another deer. There's another wolf over here. You wolves. This wolf pack tactics are starting to piss me off. That's just fine, though. Yep, it is that same deer. He's gorging on it right now. We're going to go inside of Grey Mother's house. Someone said Grey Mother has no nostrils. Now I can't unsee it. Now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's go inside of here real quick. The other reason I want to go in here is because we have a lot of crap that I'm still carrying. And I think I'm going to have to come back. Someone said if you get like 350 trust, you can get like some cool stuff from her. I'm sure you probably can. Let's, in fact, oh, I don't pop it. Hold on over here. Let's, you can check the trust, I think, from your journal. But so you have 110 right now. Wow. That would take, well, you could use a whole crap ton of sticks. Or a whole lot of, actually bandages would probably be the easiest because you can turn cloth into bandages big time and get a good return on your investment. I don't know if I have the stamina to power through that, so I'm going to leave things as they are. Oh, Grey Mother, I'm so sorry. I, oh crap, I don't want to apply bandages, that's not what I want to do. I want to drink this snappy soda. I hope you don't mind me utilizing your house for my storage area. Someone was saying, like, she can't move because if she does, she'll trip over everything we have down. Yeah, you're not wrong. Mmm, look at that pork and beans. Looks delicious, but that's not what I want. I think I'm going to eat our MRE over here. It's fairly heavy. It gives us a ton of food, which is good. This is interesting. It gives us some drink, too, huh? Huh. All right. Dropped a lot of stuff. Well, enough stuff. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully the wolves have gone a little bit. Our encumbrance down not terribly. I wish that there was something that you could do to get your encumbrance up. Realistically, I almost feel like I'm just going to start traveling super light and just deal with the repercussions. We should have enough ability to... Oh, bunny. You scared the bejesus out of me. We should have enough ability 
to deal with not having a ton of loot on us, it shouldn't be that destructive toward our character. I've dealt with a low amount of food and clothing and everything else for the longest time. I'm not really that worried about it. Let's keep walking through here, though. Through all of the destructicated houses. I'm really curious what happened to all these houses. I'm assuming it's, like, cave-ins and stuff like that. Like, some of them look burned down. Uh, I don't know how or why that happened. But some of these just look like there was maybe so much snow that the roof came in. I don't know if you guys have any bad snow stories. I remember back it was the uh, Blizzard of 96 over in Jersey where I am from. And there was a lot of roofs that collapsed due to the snow. Uh, just the, sh the, the sheer weight of the snow on the roofs. There's a lot of places weren't prepared for that level of snow and weight. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff over here. I can already see. In fact, hold on. I'm going to holster this. There's no use really carrying this crap around on us. We already have some little outbuildings over here that we should check. Temperature is totally fine right now. Weather's looking good. Well, weather's looking okay. I, I appreciate the weather currently. It's not as bad as it could be, that's for sure. Do you have any stones on us in case we need them? Uh, yeah, we have one stone. I think I'm going to take a couple of others just in case. I don't really think that I'm going to be killing any rabbits anytime soon. But I like to keep around three stones on me. Just just for old sake. Just for old time's sake. Now, this is a building usually where you can find some goods in. Come here. Come on. Give me give me something. Give me something good, though. I, I, don't, I, want, I don't want something average. I want something good. Well, this is craptastic. How about up here randomly? Anything up on this little shelf? Nope. Not a thing. Not a thing. Very strange. Okay. That's fine. I'm a little bit surprised, quite honestly. Ah, uh, the music. The music begins to play. This is interesting. Is this... Can you go in anywhere around here? It doesn't look like you can. This actually reminds me a lot of the tower that was over by the farmstead in Pleasant Valley. The farmstead... Hi there, wolf. How are you doing, you jerk? The Farmstead, a classic holdout place for many a sandbox player, and for good reason, too. Uh, it was a fantastic house, and probably my favorite internal structure. It had the legitimacy... What the hell? Someone just got jacked by a wolf up here somewhere. Who got it? Who bought the farm? Where are you? Where are you? I hear the crying of the of the bunnies, but I don't see anything unusual. It sounds like it's coming from right up here somewhere, but I, I should see this wolf. I'm probably going to see it when it's eating my face off. Look at this. Oh, shit. All right. Yep. Well, we got a problem, boys. It's hatchet time. It's hatchet time. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on, baby. That's what time it is. That's what time it is. All right. We got a little bit of laceration. So that wolf was hanging straight out around here. Oh, I love wolves. I love wolves so much. They're my favorite in the universe. Honestly, though, if I never got attacked by wolves, we wouldn't be having any fun. Let us check the drawers. Oh, fishing line. That was our very first instance of anything linely and fishingly. This is cool, too. Uh, yes, the snares you can set up for trapping rabbits, should you ever want to. This is interesting. This is our first workbench. Uh, I'm a big fan of workbenches because you can utilize them to make yourself a lot of the a lot of the upper level gear. Like, uh, hold on, did I just hear something? Hold on. It could just be rabbits sitting around here, but sometimes wolves will come back into the area. A lot of the best pants and the best jackets and stuff like that are utilized through the crafting station right over there. Now, this is interesting. Carter Hydro Energy. Is there anything that Holy you... Holy shit. Whoa! Okay. Frozen corpse? I mean, is this corpse better than all the other ones? There's the lockbox key! Alright, well, that's what we came for. Let's go ahead. Man, I almost feel like I do want to come back here. I don't know when we're gonna find another, another one of these. And the temperatures have been as such that we can sit outside and legitimately make ourselves some clothing. Uh, at the very least, we can make ourselves some deer skin clothing. Now, there also appears to be a residence over here. A lot of times you can go inside of these as well. Maybe a dead, a dead battery. 
Oh, the guy, he, you're trying to use it? I've never seen that before. Okay. That's fine. Uh, is there anything else that we can mess around with this? That no, doesn't look like there is. But um, that's curious. I'm, I'm getting some things from this guy that I've never seen before. Or heard before, I should say. All right, let us move it over in this early direction. There is another vehicle over there, which we should check. A lot of benches and stuff. Okay. A lot. A lot. Hold on, let me just check something real quick over here. A lot of rose hips over there as well. Maybe the keys are around here somewhere. I bet I know where the keys are. All right, hold on. Let me, uh, ah, we really don't need all these rose hips right now. We don't need all these rose hips. It's just going to cause a ton more. We could use the reishi mushrooms to it's make, to make gray mother happy. But how you doing there, dear? Your job is to get eaten, so I don't have to. Inside of this vehicle, I assume we will find the keys. That is my hope. Let us go inside. Take the tractor. What did you say? Right here. Key to the farmhouse. That's what I wanted to find. All right. I'll open the visors only because I guess uh, tradition dictates that I should. Nothing inside the glove box. Huh. Okay. That's all right. I didn't need anything from you anyway. Under the car, under the vehicle is probably something I really don't need to check. Could there be something there? Maybe. But probably just really a waste of time. Nothing I would specifically need to keep us alive. Let us run over here. I don't have time to pussyfoot around. I need to get inside so we can check out things. I feel like there's going to be usefulness inside of this locked house. Inside we go. Or maybe oh, someone... said the key was here somewhere. Or maybe someone that wants to kick the crap out of us. Didn't I technically already get the key that I'm looking for? Or is there a different key? Tables, stacks of papers, don't want them. Books, don't want them. Lot of weight, not enough stuff for it. Inside the trash can, I will search the rest of this just to see if there's anything good inside. Uh, toilet is going to give us some drinkable water, which is good. I do appreciate drinkable water in this way. As a matter of fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab a sip. There's no reason not to. I may even grab a food. How many? Oh, we're totally fine on food right now. Like, really, really fine in ways that we don't need to be fine for a long time. Inside the bathtub, anything useful? No, but there are planks if we wanted to. We can chop them up. I'm not going to, though. We're going to have to fix up our hatchet eventually. I think that you can fix up... Oh, that's another sewing kit. I will take that. It doesn't weigh very much, and it's very useful. If you don't have a sewing kit, you can utilize fishing line to get your... Really? I get inside of here? There's a freaking blizzard outside? All right. I guess better inside than out. Got some water over there. Holy God. Okay, this is, um... Wow. There's a lot of stuff, man. Oh, look at all these books. Oh, it is a book smorgasbord. Like, crazy style. Um, there's actually a lot of stuff under here that has different looking textures than I'm used to. I like all the textures, though. All right, I'll grab the stack of papers just because... Oh, Stacy's grape soda. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you very much. We'll try the radio just to make people happy. Floppy disks, because who uses those? Over here in... What is it called? Bear? Big Bear? They seem to use them. We got a lockbox over there. Oh, you know what? I'll bet that's what our key is for. Not for the bank, but for that lockbox. Inside of the drawers, nothing of note. Canadian flag. Sitting gloriously inside the lockbox. What should we find? Perhaps another key. An emergency kit note. And a bandage. Use this. And matches. And oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Okay. That was pretty good. Is that a receipt? That was like a receipt. Um, real quick, let's check some stuff out real fast. So the first things first, we got a note. So we are gonna want to check that out. Emergency note kit. Examine. What do we find? This emergency kit is distributed free of charge by the Great Bear Earthquake Memorial Society. Our nonprofit work helps guarantee full preparedness for any future emergencies at Great Bear. We remember. Okay, wow. Well, thank you for that. Um, that was actually freakishly useful. And we still don't have the deposit key. That's what we want. We're looking for the deposit key. So not a stone must go unturned inside of this house. We're going to have to make sure to search absolutely everything. And again, the reason that I'm taking some papers and stuff like that... Actually, I should think to myself... You could Oh, look at that fish over there. It looks delicious, but we can't eat it. I should think to myself, if we leave the papers behind, I don't think... I think that it will just go on to the next item. Another note. 
Oh, it's a utility spill. Uh, this could be useful. I don't know why, but it may have something in it of, of note. Let's check it out real quick. Dear Mr. Barker, your account with the Mainland Power Corps is now severely past due. Your account is in arrears in the tune of 1200 bucks. Despite our attempt to contact you to remedy the situation, on our third and final warning, we regret for your report that we are left with no choice but to interrupt service immediately. We have dispatched a recovery crew to repossess your solar block model BK1. Once your account has been brought up to date, we'll be more than happy to restore your service. Please know that all meter readings are carried out by impartial drones deployed by our remote monitoring station in Great Bear. If you would like to disport, dispute the reading, please contact your local ombudsman, which, according to our records, is located at Missing Data. Mainland Power Corp is primary service provider of grid based power for Southern Great Bear region. We pride ourselves on dedication customer service and have been awarded the Musk Green Service Medallion for the past three years running. If you'd like to make a payment or communicate with us about your account status, we invite you to contact us by phone, email, or social media, or by drone mailer, according to contact information provided below. Thank you and have a nice day. We just screwed your whole life over. Thank you and have a nice day. More water. Why not? It's heavy as hell and I'm grabbing it like a jerk, but that's how it goes. Over here, another candy bar. Again, food I have trouble passing up. Actually, I'm a giant pack rat. I have trouble passing up pretty much anything. I do pass up some stuff. I see it, some sardines laying around. Lay me down. Yeah, I know, buddy. Oh, I know. You just wait. I see something else in the corner. Oh, that looks like herbal tea. Oh, if it's herbal tea, moldy peanut butter, boys. Now, moldy peanut butter, super high caloric content. Did you see 900 calories on it? Oh, so good. So good. Yep, herbal tea right there. Inside the microwave, nothing of you. Note, but another can opener. And a can opener found is a can opener well found. I, I like them. Okay, that's what I really wanted to get across. I will always take a can opener. They're super oh, useful. Still eat this. Tomato soup, brand new as well. Yep, I'm okay with that. Inside the stove, ah, it's just a place to burn things. Over here, a Tinder plug that we really don't need. Inside the freezer, another note! These notes are everywhere! Trash can. Come on, give me the key. Rose hips. That's odd. Just a random rose hip laying there. Do you have anything inside of your fridge, good sir? Let me. I could grab. Nope. Neighbor's note. Man, there is just notes up the friggin' wazoo over here. What does this one say? Examine. Hey, Martin. We found Molly. Alice was so relieved. Thanks for helping us look. Looks like this time maybe a wolf went after her. They seem to be more and more. After, oh, since the quake and closer to town. Fewer people to keep them in check, I guess. Molly's hurt, but she'll make it. Watch out, because the wolves might come after your dog, too. I know how you feel about wildlife and that you wouldn't shoot a wolf, even if you had to. But I hear they don't like loud noises. Roadside flare might do the trick. Stay safe. Come visit us when you can. It's not good to spend too much time on your own. Okay. That's interesting. Well, I hate to say it, but everyone's dead, so it really doesn't matter. You know, they may not be dead. Um, they may just be gone. And by, you know, I don't mean like permanently gone. I just mean like gone somewhere else. More Stacy's grape soda. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Gray's taking it all like a jerk. I said I wouldn't, but I'm doing it anyway. Call me a giant hypocrite. Because I am. Inside the metal pail, nothing of note. Over here, cardboard boxes with nothing inside either. Man, where did you hide this key, you jerk? I know it's around here somewhere. You can't, you can't freaking hide it from me. Man, this house is legit. More rooms. Got the master. What? Wool mittens are the best mittens in the world. Oh, wool mittens. Where have you been all my life? We're going to have to fix those up quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because I do believe they are going to be giving us a lot more warmth than the work gloves. I believe. I think that wool mittens are the best. Ooh, that looks legit. I believe that wool mittens are the best you can get outside of the rabbit skin mittens, which as we all know, feel much like wearing little bunnies on your hands. Uh, I've never actually worn bunnies on my hands, but I have owned bunnies before. So I have held them aloft. A ragged dress shirt. If I leave stuff, all right. I was curious if I left stuff, if, if it would show me something new and interesting. Wooden matches, I'm never gonna, an urn. What? 
found it in the urn, boys. Right in the urn. I was gonna say, I get more wool socks. Really? Why not? I'll rip them down for the cloth. Whoa. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now that is a good find. Right there. Ski jacket. Being useful. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. All that stuff's getting left. Inside of this big container, decent trail boots. Are they better than the boots we have? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Hold on. Let's see what kind of condition they're in. Uh, they're not in the best condition. Actually, they look substantially worse. Let's check this jacket out real fast. Now, we do have Will's coat and the parka, both of which are very good. But it's possible that the ski jacket may be even better. Uh, also, a little bit lighter. So, we're going to fix that up as well and check it out in a little bit. We have some additional... Oh, I don't need that. We have some additional containers over here, as well as a beautiful fireplace for us to utilize. More... Oh, my God. Another storm lantern. Ah, uh, no, we don't need it. It's just too heavy. Even... I wonder if I bust it up if I get the, uh, the oil inside. Well, we have enough fuel, too, quite honestly. I don't ever foresee myself burning that much fuel. All right, the ski jacket is better than, uh, Will's coat and the parka. Will's coat and the parka both look to be exactly the same, which is fine. I almost want to keep Will's coat just because of the fur line. I don't really care if it's even better or not. I just like the way it looks. In fact, I think we're going to wear that on our outside and wear the ski jacket on the inside. It's going to shave off a little bit of weight, which is good. Woo! Look at those wool mittens, boys. A little bit less protection, but we're going to get more sprint out of the deal. They're a lot lighter. Well, a lot lighter. They're just lighter. And they do provide more warmth and stuff. Actually, the warmth is probably very, very similar. But all the other stats are good enough to the point where I'm okay getting rid of these work gloves. All right, we're out of here for now. It's a new day. I'm leaving the combat boots for right now. I know. It's it's a little weird because, like, you can always drop more stuff to lower your weight. But you can't always get more protection. So I almost feel, ah, eh, you know what. Oh, God. Ugh, I'm gonna take them. We'll wear the combat boots. What would you guys do? Would you prefer the combat boots for the protection or to get rid of the weight or just try and carry less stuff the old-fashioned way? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm always curious. Random cloth sitting around over there. I don't need all the cloth. Oh, I have so much cloth. I have so many goods. I have so much of everything. In fact, I have so much of everything that pork and beans is pretty heavy. So let's go ahead and eat it. All of your canned foods is usually fairly heavy. Well... The heaviest stuff is your, uh, your, your foods that are raw and that you cook. So, all right, let's get the heck out of here. I'm sure there's much more to explore. But quite frankly, for right now, I feel like getting back over to where we need to be and checking out that bank box. We have a, oh, that looks like a wolf. That definitely looks like a wolf. What is this over here? This is odd. Some interesting being over there. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to grab one of these real quick. There's probably enough wolven activity that having one of these out is a good idea. Man, this wind is freaking me out. I keep thinking I'm hearing, like, wolf steps behind me. It's freaking horrible. But there's nothing there. There's nothing ever there. There's a mailbox over there, too. I'm going to let that go. There's probably, probably all the secrets in the game are inside that mailbox, and I'm missing them. That's fine. Like I said, we have the keys that we came for. I do want to see what those do. Look at that wolf over there. Look at him looking around. He's like, you know, I feel like there's something I could be chewing on nearby. Something that tastes a lot like gray. Guess what, wolf? You can suck on my wiener because you're not going to be chewing on my ass today. Oh, no. I have a flare in hand. Actually, when we go through here... This, this town, I feel like there's more wolves over here than there was, substantially. So we may have to tango with some wolves in just a little bit. Now, we can't sprint at the moment, probably because I'm wearing the combat boots. Actually, probably because of all the crap I'm wearing. We're also having a lot of issues because we're walking into the wind, which is never a good idea. We've got a crap ton of flares on us, so I'm totally fine using one 
to deal with wolves should we need to. Which we very well may, because like I said, it seems like there's like a permanent deer that's getting gorged on over here in the middle of the town. I know there was the developer had said something like they had to remove a deer that was permanently around and would never go away, and the wolves just ate it for all eternity. I wonder if that's essentially Wolf Valhalla. Or like Wolf Heaven. Just a permanent, a permanent deer for you to gorge on for the rest of your life. Well, the rest of your existence, I should say. Seems like something a wolf would enjoy, I imagine. Over here, can squeeze our way through the gate. Come around back, no big deal. Through these trunks, there should be a wolf right over here. No, nothing. In fact, there's a deer over there. Hmm. All right, maybe we'll check that deer out a little bit later. Maybe we can get some hide from it. Although... I think we're going to be moving from Old Gray Mother's house fairly soon to the back of the freaking credit union to learn the secrets. Uh, what number do we even have? I don't remember. Must be this one. I was gonna say. Gray Mother's safety deposit box. Oh. That'll come in handy. And some cash. Because why not? Oh, Gray Mother! I've got your safety deposit box. Oh, the wind. Oh, the wind of sadness. Oh, this is horrifying. Oh, I'm going to cut this out. Okay. We made it. We're back. All right. Cutscene. Did you find it? Yep. Here we go. Here's the safety deposit box from the bank. I still don't understand. Shh. Give me the box. You sent me to steal jewelry for you? You said this would help me find her. Have faith, outsider. It will. Do one last thing for me, and then I will tell you what you need to know. I'm finished with this. I'll find my own way out of here. Then you will die like the others. Just one more task for Grey Mother man who fell from the sky and then you'll get the answers you need <laughs> i'm gonna blast you gray mother that's what i'm gonna do what do you What's want this last thing you need from me right or wrong from the past outsider that's all i ask how can i do that Take these pearls to Lily. Lily? Oh, God. Is that one of the girls that's over in the, uh, in that, um, the graveyard of really, really young people? All this time, I thought you were talking about my friend. Who's Lily? You'll find her at the graveyard. Oh, old gray putting together things. The graveyard near the church. You would have passed it. I know exactly where it is. Why would she be waiting for me by the church? You aren't made? No, she's not waiting for you, brother. You'll find her there. And your answers. Pearl. Why did you get me to steal these pearls from the bank? Not the bank. From the farmer. Barker. From the far- The farmer's gone. So he left with the other cowards then. No, he's dead. Looks like the wolves got him. And so it ends. All right. Let me go do my thing over here. We gotta get some, uh, we gotta get some inventory managed and then we're gonna head on out. Let me ask you boys something. You ever eat an entire jar of peanut butter? Well, we are. Oh, yeah, give me them calories, baby. All right, we're still fairly weighed down, but we should be fine. To the graveyard, where the answers lie. Or, is Grey Mother lying? Let's go check it out. Our, our... Pelts still have a long way to go. Curing. All right, no wolf. Really? Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Oh! Took out a friggin' bunny. Bunny just got jackacated. All right, we're gonna go around this way then. I think I'm gonna keep grabbing the old man's beard lichen. What we'll do, the antiseptic is very, very heavy. I think, nope, I don't wanna pop it. Nope, I don't wanna pop it. Stop it. Stop it. In fact, put it away. I don't want to carry antiseptic around. It's just too heavy. I'm much happier carrying the old man's beard lichen. 
I think what we'll do is the next time we're near an area where we can sit down and get some stuff done, I'm going to prepare a ton of this stuff. I think I have a lot of it prepared, if I remember. But can I run here? Is there a bunch of wolves hanging out? Looks like I can run over here. All right. Let's move as quick as we can over to the graveyard where the answers remain. Whoa! Oh, crap! All right! One more time, baby! One more time! One more time! Man! You wolves need to know when to freaking eat it! Crap! We're cut! Hold on. Get inside this freaking car. Ah! Whore wolves! Oh, you whore wolves. All right, hold on. Let's get over here and find out. Blood loss. Bleeding. All right. We can handle that. We can handle that. Let's, uh, I have, do I not have bandages on me anymore? I'm, a I'm almost sure I had some, yeah, I was gonna say. Don't, don't you lie to me. Oh, Gray knows he has freaking bandages on him. As a matter of fact, let's use the antiseptic more than likely. Because, um, yeah, let's go ahead and apply it. Because we might as well use it. We've got it on us. There we go. The infection was, yeah, look, there's still a ton of weight left to it. But we could have also utilized this. These are prepared. So, and look, you get three for three. Well, actually, are they exactly the same? Yeah, 10 liters. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty much the same weight when you think about it. The old man's beard, like, is a little bit lighter. Well, freaking glad I have the uh, combat boots now. Matter of fact, these combat boots have been really, really good to us. Like, really good to us. They've probably saved us more times than I can count at this point. Let's keep moving on, though. Man, every time, it's like every time I put this flare away, it is wolf time. So, I guess it would do me well to just keep the thing out now and again. Especially when there's a lot of, like, different hillocks and stuff like this where we can't see what's over it. Is there another damn stag over there? Or is that the same stag that we passed up from the last time? It probably is. Whoa! Cutscene! Well, that's sad. If you want to do, you could probably sit inside of one of these cars and just wait until the fog's out. We're not playing it safe, though. I could care less. I have this flare to protect me, which I'm never going to use. I never end up using it. Man, we have hatcheted more wolves than I know what to do with. Oh, are we going to get all the way to the bridge without getting wolfinated? Actually, it looks that way. Go us. Made it all the way back. Totally uneventful. How do you like them apples, baby? That's pretty good. All right, Gray Mother. It's answers time. Tell me all you freaking know. Lily was your daughter. You have a good heart, Mackenzie. You see things others would miss. But the name, Lily Barker, related to the farmer? You said they were liars and cheats. The years have made me angry. Lily was my daughter. Our daughter. I am also a Barker. The farmer was my husband. You lived apart. Yes. Our Lily died climbing. She wanted to summit all the peaks on Great Bear. She was young, already very talented. One day she went out alone. I said no, but he said yes. Let her go. She needs to face it alone. So she faced it alone. And I never forgave him. And the pearls? They were my mother's. I gave them to Lily on her 16th birthday, the year she died. I wanted the pearls buried with her, but her father wanted to keep them 
to remember her. We fought bitterly and never spoke again. Losing a child is... Like losing your own life. But now, maybe you can save your friend. And Lily's death doesn't have to be for nothing. How? Take this key. Upstairs, in my Lily's old room, is a trunk with her old climbing things. Take the rope and the map. Follow Lily's path and you'll find the back way through the mountains. It's the only way to find the route to Perseverance Mills. I hope you find her. Thank you. What will you do? I'm content to sit here and think of my Lily resting with her favorite pearls. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. I won't forget about you. I... I'll try to come back. Or I'll send help for you. There's bound to be someone out there who can help. My journey is finished. But yours is only beginning. Go. Go and don't think of Grey Mother or Milton. We're of the old world now. The new world is for the strong to survive. Well, that was sad. That was really, really, really sad. Leave me outsider. Your fate in this world is no longer tied to mine. And thus, we learned the secrets. Actually, we learned a lot of stuff, which is pretty cool. Also, time to get some climbing gear. The one thing I'm not super happy about is that climbing gear is always extremely heavy. So we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, our fresh cured hides, of which we have one and almost two, would be able to get us either a boot or a pants if we utilized all three. Guys, hope you're enjoying the long dog on the story mode. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.